Take a journey to towns and cities in Frederick County and you'll find yourself immersed in a landscape filled with works of art. These pieces of public art, murals, sculptures, even bridges, showcase the evolving history and culture of our communities. Let's meet these artists and discover what makes Frederick County a special place for creative and innovative public art projects. I realized I wanted to be an artist, first of all, when I was three years old. And how I knew was because I would draw, and I found that I enjoyed doing it, and I found that I was encouraged. Ever since I could hold a crayon, I've been drawing and interpreting the world around me through visual means, whether it was putting together pieces of construction paper or digging up clay from the nearby creek and making little sculptures. It's just always been that impulse to make something. I started sculpting when I was about 10 years old. I started off carving wood and about three or four years later I started working with clay in a gifted and talent program in the state of Maryland. And I've been sculpting for over 45 years now. Public art is important to me because I grew up in the rural Midwest where the only access to art that I had was public art or art that might be in a church or a library. And so there's something for me about art that belongs to everybody that I think is really valuable. I feel like art that, that I make that sits in the studio isn't living its real purpose if it's not out in the world, if it's not shared somehow. And so for me, public art is the ultimate sharing of what you do, of, of sharing your gifts with the community. And you know, it's, it's no longer mine once it leaves the studio. It's, it's everyone's. If we think about where we travel in the world as a tourist, we tend to think about those locations uh, because of the public art and the architecture that we see. So if you think about going to Paris, you think of the Eiffel Tower. If you think about going to New York City, you think of the Statue of Liberty. It has the potential to draw in a great widespread of uh, public audience to inspire them. Frederick is a very dynamic city, starting with uh, the Community Bridge and the sprinkling of sculptures throughout the town. It's very special in that it's dynamic, it's ever-growing, it's engaging, and I feel very honored to be a part of that process. So Thurmond is actually a very beautiful place with the mountains, a beach, waterfall. I mean, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal place. And so I wanted to celebrate that. I wanted our community, this community and the world, to know of the beauty of Thurmond. And I've chosen slivers of little vignettes of Thurmond. So that's what I've celebrated here. So I would like to invite you to come to Frederick and, and walk along Carroll Creek and see Claire McCardle and all of the amazing public art that we have in Frederick and, and meet some of the artists.